32 versus 64 gigabytes of RAM in Star Citizen. Is there any benefit from spending the money and getting 64 gigabytes? It's finally time to get an answer. If you're looking to buy a new PC or considering upgrading your RAM, this hopefully will be very insightful. And if you're someone who likes to keep some programs open in the background, this will be especially useful to you. I recently took another look at 16 gigabytes versus 32 gigabytes, and we found what I found many years ago, that 16 gigabytes just isn't really enough. You're constantly having to go to the page file because you've run out of physical memory, and that does actually impact performance. And we saw that there is an actual performance difference between 16 gigabytes versus 32. But what about this bigger, more expensive upgrade that you can do. Is 64 gigabytes just a complete waste of money? I've done my normal load of testing, 20 runs around Lawville, uh, takes ages, but it gets good, goodish results, I hope. And you'll see here, when I've tested with my system as I normally test, where I've basically shut everything else down, there's just the game running, I've minimized all the tasks that I can, or shut all the tasks down that I can, you can see that effectively they are the same there is no real difference a tiny difference maybe the one percent lows but i mean we're in margin of error territory and and basically these would perform and you'd you'd feel them as being exactly the same you wouldn't be able to tell any difference but the big but here is that when I people have asked me to test this in the past, I've been like, oh, it's 32 gigabytes is fine. Maybe, maybe it will be useful if you've got tons of programs open. Maybe you've got 100 Chrome tabs open and all that sort of stuff. Well, that is what I've tested here. So not 100, but we've got five Chrome tabs open. We've got Discord open. We've got a couple of launch game launchers. Steam I've got open and Ubisoft Connect. I've been playing the Star Wars Outlaw game. And we're going to basically retest 20 runs again, but we are now, it's more of a real world sort of test in that people obviously use Discord playing Star Citizen and often you'll have a couple of tabs open. You might have the Urkel website open or maybe other Star Citizen kind of tool things open. It's not crazy. And I've also got the Outlook program open just for emails because maybe somebody might have that in the background. So this is a look at when you open a few more programs and you edge closer and closer to the limit of 32 gigabytes, does it make a difference? Because as as many people have said, Star Citizen, you will be close to the 32 gigabyte limit when you're just playing Star Citizen on its own. So when we've added these extra things, we are actually tipping above it. And so you will see here, as we run around Lawville, there's 32 gigabyte on the left and the 64 on the right. You can see the hard faults again. So again, hard fault when you're going to the page file, you're using the solid state drive as an extra source of memory, effectively a slower, much slower source of memory. And that can cause things like stutters and uh, jitters, things like that. You can see that there are some on the 32 gigabyte. And you can see actually that the, the amount of used memory when we've got these programs open, we are basically maxing out the 32 gigabytes of RAM. You can see that there are some hard faults, but compared to what we saw when I tested the 32 versus 16, th there's nowhere near as many, but there are some there. Whereas on the 64 gigabytes, we're not we're not hitting the page file at all, really, from Star Citizen or the memory compression stuff. But does it make any difference to performance, which is obviously the key question. You can see this graph that we have lost a tiny bit of performance there at the bottom. So the question really is though, is that down to CPU uh, being used by these other programs and things open, or is it down to the memory? And, and the way we test that obviously is to test the 64 gigabytes and see if there's any difference. So you can see here this graph, when you add the 64 gigabyte result to this, again, testing all the programs open, you can see that there is no drop off in performance. So that suggests it's not these extra things in the background using CPU resources, but it potentially is actually the RAM. The RAM is the issue on the 32 gigabyte system. So that obviously is not a crazy difference. Again, nobody's really gonna necessarily notice two FPS. And again, the 1% lows are a tiny bit below the 64 gigabyte mark. So again, that suggests there are more potential spikes and stutters happening, but this isn't exactly like a power user scenario. We've only got a few things running. If you were to have tons of things running in the background, tabbing between all sorts of windows, then I think, yes, you would recommend 64 gigabytes. For your average person who maybe is just playing the game and got one or two tabs open and Discord, is it worth going to 64 gigabytes? Really, that's something you're gonna have to decide. I mean, if you're wanting to future-proof yourself, 
I guess we're getting to the point, uh, but looking at these results, where 64 gigabytes does maybe make more sense than I personally thought it was. I thought oh, it, it's an expensive thing for not really much benefit, but we're seeing here that actually, if you were to build a PC now, thinking I want this to last for, <laughs> let's not even let's not even try and predict how long it will take until Stasis and actually <laughs> reaches some sort of release, but. The game probably is going to be optimized, but it's probably just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I would assume RAM usage will creep up and up and up and up. So it, this is going to be one way you basically look at that and you have to work out for yourself. Is it worth spending more money to get double the RAM for effectively a tiny difference? Or are you just happy to just play with 32? I will leave that down to you.